This is Papa Frank and welcome to another enlisted video. Today we are discussing squad leveling. So let's go. Before we start, this video will have three sections. I'm going to approach infantry, tank and airplane squads leveling differently. So you can jump to the section you are interested in. Now the first section is going to be about infantry leveling. And right now what you see is squad upgrades. So what do you want with squad infantry, infantry squads? You want to head down the main path. Now that's common sense and everybody knows that. But what do you do after that? And there are caveats to each and every squad type that you might be going for. So I'm, go I'm going to show this for uh, to you for like two squads and from then on you you can kind of you kind of get the hang of it right so the first example i'm going to give you is going to be an assault squad so what i did with the assault squad is i i went down the main path right but the second thing i did i didn't i didn't branch into i didn't branch into uh, into other stuff before before i i went down the personnel the personnel upgrades right so the main path in the personnel upgrades and the main reason to that is uh with my with my assault squad i want my uh i want my assault infantry to be leveled up and get as many perks that help them with stamina getting into positions faster and and making those uh making those uh fast plays because if you have better stamina or better healing that helps you out a lot which isn't the case for each and every squad, right? So let's let's try let's try and see why 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 did I choose personnel upgrades, the main branch for the XP boost, instead of going with a big a bigger squad. Now, assault squads are like sniper squads. In in the terms of if you get spotted, you're kind of you're kind of dead. What, what what I like to do with my assault squads is the way I play is usually I watch the minimap, I'm looking for a weak point in the enemy defense, and I'm try and I try to flank me with my with my assault squad. And in order to do that, I like to keep my assault squads small so that there there aren't a lot of bots running running around, right? And what I do is go for the upgrades that give me stamina boost so that I can run longer and I can regain my stamina faster, if that makes sense. So that was the, the assault squad. So what do you do? Squad upgrades, I do personal uh, personnel upgrades, and then I went into the workshop upgrades because I don't really care of, about having multiple multiple guys uh in in my squad what i care about is getting that easy flank now the next thing i would do uh right now at level 27 maybe get an artillery guy so that i can i can emphasize on my flanking even more with an artillery strike right so if you have you have an arty guy on your on your squad you put down an arty you clear the zone or you, you you literally remove remove a zone from the play for the enemy because they won't charge into an artillery fire so you have time to push up to that area right all right so what about what about workshop upgrades why did i why did i choose to uh, to go for workshop upgrades instead of some of the squad upgrades well easy because it, it, it's an easy answer I want my guns to be upgraded and to upgrade them as much as I can, I want to get all the, the disassemble bonus and uh, and uh, upgrade upgrade uh, discounts that I can that I can put my hands on. So there is a reason there's a reason why why I do this, but I'm going to I'm going to cover workshop upgrades in a more detailed video. If you if you watch this at a later state uh, at at a later state of the game or a later date, um, you chances are that that v, uh, guide is out too as well. But keeping focus here, I'm trying to to show you how different different infantry and this is this is the thing about infantry squads. Different squads handle differently, and I'm going to show you why. The second example I'm going to give you. 
um oh minor note on the assault squad the kind of the same stuff goes to uh to sniper squads as well because because you want to to keep your squad small so that uh, you only have snipers sniping not you don't have uh, you don't have random engineers or whatever running about so that that not not necessarily engineer but you you know what i mean so the second example i'm going to give you it is going to be about let's say artillery so why would i why would i prioritize branches branches in uh in the RT squad the squad upgrades instead of going let's say for the for the infantry or the workshop upgrades straight straight forward right it's not that straightforward of an answer and the main reason because as as a player i want to to get more xp right so everyone wants the same thing and how do we do that here in in the uh, artillery section what what i do when i when i upgrade my squad when i upgraded my squad what i did was instead of going for the xp boost i actually took the frequent artillery because the frequent artillery right now in the current state of the game is eight times more often so so you can you can call in an rt eight times more often than 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 you would normally do so that will overall provide you more xp and more more impact in your game than just a plain 50 percent squad experience so in in my opinion there are there are exceptions that you need to make before before branching down the main path especially if, if there's a perk like this one that you can put your hands on and it's and it is really good and the reason why i'm telling you this because the personnel upgrades too have uh, some really cool perks i don't know where where it was but uh one of uh, one of the backpacks uh, backpacks too especially for for assault squads are really good um and that's uh, and that's because to to uh and that's for usually for more grenades as an assault squad you want more grenades or maybe smoke grenades so on and so forth so having a grenade pouch or something with you that's gonna that's gonna help you out a lot but overall but overall getting back to artillery i play with my rt squad i i want to be the support squad I don't call in artillery that often, but I'm trying to look for, but I'm trying to look for enemy, uh, for enemy spotting. And where, where I see spots, boom, I put down an RT and I try to, to generally, generally speaking, I try to see where, where to, uh, where to aim the, the RT to be even more effective, maybe denying them a location, an area or something. Of course, that's why, that's the main reason why I upgraded my entire squad first before heading down the personal branch personnel branch and uh, the workshop upgrades so generally speaking in infantry squads you would kind of leave the workshop as a last resort and that's because and that's especially if you can if you can hold yourself back looking at the order for weaponry i didn't really spend that much of uh for for orders and that's because i'm waiting i'm waiting to uh to get uh to to get bonuses for from the workshop uh, from the workshop bonuses that's going to be that's going to be covered in uh in an upcoming video when we speak in depth about workshop upgrades but so heading down heading into the second section of of, uh, of the video which is going to be talking about vehicle upgrades so so tank upgrades tank upgrades is is a little bit different where where some some things for infantry squads were important now they are they are they are they are, they are quite the opposite not really important you don't really care about them what you care about is is your your tanks maneuverability and power so the first thing that you do is the same so heading down the main path is is still a no-brainer so that's that's the main thing that you want to do but the second thing you want to do closely after 
is either fill up your tank with crew members. So if you if you're in a, in a T60, a T60 only has two crew members, right? But if you're in a T26, which has I think three crew members, let me let me just check that. Give me just a second. Yeah, crew crew members free. Oh no, actually, oh no, yeah, 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 free crew, free crew members. So what this means is before heading to the next phase you want to you want to increase the squad size to the to, to the number of uh, infantry that uh, that you you can put into a tank that's that goes the same way for each and every campaign if you have a tank that can support five crew members put as many crew members into the tank as possible it will increase your survivability now what do you do next? Do you go for personnel upgrades or for workshop upgrades? Well, I reckon you're going to go for workshop upgrades and I'm going to tell you why. Workshop upgrades, when you upgrade your tank, guess what? When you upgrade your tank, you have 100% as, as in the current state of the game in open beta, you can upgrade the tank with 100% success rate. So you would want to put your hands on on the things that are 100% sure that you can unlock them. Because if you go for personnel upgrades, while there are some perks, let's, let's take a look at them. While there are some perks for, for infantry members, they aren't that good for tanks. And most of your most of your crew members in tank will spend their time in the tank, not outside of it, right? So what you will do, so what you will do here is I reckon you should upgrade your tank. The tank you what you wish to play with in the campaign, you should head down that branch and unlock unlock at least the level three for it, right? The tier three. So that you can you can get put your hands on the mod modification modification cost bonus. You see how I ignored these because I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna play the T60. It it literally cannot pen anything in terms of vehicles, so I'm gonna go for the T26 and then gonna go for the the BT7. You see, and that's why and that's why I prioritized the T26 and then went down into the the personnel upgrade because. Perks, while they are cool, they are only chance based. Uh, even if you level up your guy, it's there's only a chance that you would get a perk that you would really want. And another thing is that, <laughs> at least these, if you start if you start stacking up scrap for your tanks, you will get those upgrades. And tier uh, level level two and level three for uh, for tanks are really good. Level 2 is Breaking Force, Suspension Damning, Level 3 is Engine, Engine Power, and Level 4 is a Shots Deviation, so it's Gun Accuracy and Speed. And uh, I think, I don't know if, if this includes Turret Rotation Speed and the Angling, but anyway. Heading back to the upgrades. This, this, was, this was the short version of what you should spend your, your, your squad points on, right? I'm going to go, go into detail for workshop upgrades in a in a workshop in a workshop upgrade uh, guide. But for now, for now, just focus just focus on getting these perks so that you can you can save up scrap, and you will you will be able to level up your uh, your tanks. And after that, go for the personnel upgrade. No brainer. Go down into the XP branch and then get a backpack slot. Um, so what, um, so let's just head on into the third section, which is airplane, airplane squads leveling. Now different, oh, oh, and I should have, I should have told you this. Different squads have different upgrade layouts. You know, that's, that I think, I think that's common sense, right? So different squads have different upgrade layouts, have different upgrades and so on and so forth. So that's why, for, uh, that's why I'm 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 just uh, recalling this because I, I know that bombers are different from uh, different from from fighters, and while bombers can have additional additional squad size increase, 
about um stats uh attacker pilots they are usually just one guy in a, in an attack plane if that makes sense so what should you what should you prioritize now and 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 one might one might say one might say that yeah but i do not have uh i do not have the order for weaponry to spend it on on tank upgrades um i do not have uh i don't have the the upgrade so why should i take the workshop uh the workshop points well here is this you can figure it out if you have if you have order for weaponry so and you can put your ha hands on scrap then go for it if not yeah it might be better just for uh, just just to go for the personnel upgrades you you, you kind of have to figure it out out on your own when it comes to to this part but you might you might if you save up if you you save up things it's going to be much better later on trust me just save up your 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 uh, your things um uh, the things that you get and it will be much better and that's why and the reason why is because i'm going to discuss this in an upcoming in an upcoming video um with logistics um I'm going to discuss this in depth on what you should spend your your orders on and why. And uh, yeah, just just stay tuned. Great things are coming, boys. So, airplanes, no brainer. Head down the main branch. If you if you feel like there there are uh, there's an attack plane that uh, is lacking is lacking uh, 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 squad members, then then go for the squad size. But Head down the main branch, unlock the XP boost. No brainer. Everyone knows that. But now, here is the thing. Workshop upgrades is even better than tank than tank workshop upgrades. And that's because if you can just rush the better airplane. And I'm going to give you a secret here. Why would you why would you rush airplane airplane workshop upgrades even more than tank tank uh, upgrades well because if you don't have an upgraded tank you still have cover you're on ground you can move left and right you can wiggle you can get into uh, a cover position if if there's an enemy tank with uh, that's fully upgraded and and he's hunting you down you can still try and and get out of its way but with airplanes, you're in the air. There's no cover. There's no nothing. There's the thin air, and that's it. So the best thing to do for your airplane is to have as as good of an airplane as you can get. Which means the better the better upgrades that you can put your hands on as an airplane, the better you're going to be in battle. And I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna showcase this to you. Let's let's take let's take the fighter for example. At level two, you get fuselage drag coefficient, zero lift stabilizer, and all that fun stuff. But at the final level, you get engine power, better heat, cooling, and better power of compressor, which is still engine power. So it's like it's like the turbo, right? So you you have better you you're gonna have better. Uh, acceleration maneuverability um be, uh, more 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 hit points right more hit points for your modules that's why i think on airplanes it is even more important to head down for for the upgraded version of the airplane and that's why you want to save up your your orders for for weaponry does that make sense because yeah, yeah, you're gonna take you're gonna take personnel upgrade. You're gonna level up your fighter pilot or your bomber pilot, whatever. And then what? Because most of most of the the perks that you can put your hands on aren't gonna be game breaking. But this can be a game break, a, a a game game tie breaking tie breaking uh, upgrade, right? If you can outmaneuver your enemy, if you're faster than your enemy, you can catch up to them. You can be better in a dogfight, right? And all that fun stuff. Now, fighters gonna are going to benefit from this more in air battle than bombers, of course, right? But bombers too, if they have more hit points, if they are faster, 
they, they are going to be better as well. And with all that said, I think we, we came to a conclusion here. Now the conclusion is that for vehicles, the workshop upgrades and saving up your 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 scrap your scrap orders right <laughs> your order for weaponry it is going to be it is going to be much more much more important with all that said if you're new to the game you can always check out the entire mini series this is new but if you're watching this video at a later date chances are that the entire progression series is out and you can binge through it starting with the campaign leveling that's right. I have another an, another uh, tutorial 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 slash guide up for campaign leveling as well, where I go in depth in how you can upgrade uh, upgrade your uh, upgrade level your your campaign and what 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 is the squad XP that you can put your hands on. What are the differences and how you should uh, you should play the game. Anyway, with all that said, thank you for watching. This has been Papa Frank. And if you like the video, you know what to do. And I'm going to see you next time.